Hello V Festival, I am joined here by two of the gents from Kids in Glass Houses. How are you? I'm pretty good, thanks. Uh, you've, uh, you've just come off stage, well, an hour or so ago. Um, how was it? Yeah, it was awesome. I mean, uh, you expect everyone to be a bit hungover and a bit tired on a Sunday, but everyone's jumping around and having a good time, so that was wicked. Really enjoyed it. The uh, first festival this summer that's actually managed to stay dry for us as well, so that's always a bonus, you know. Yeah, we're making uh, we're making pleas to the weather gods right now yeah. to uh, <laughs> to keep shining on us. Uh, so you were you were V Festival virgins, I believe. How yes, yeah. how's it been for you? Yeah, V for virgin, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, no, it's been wicked. I mean, yesterday in Chelmsford was amazing. We really didn't know what to expect because obviously we've never done something as sort of mainstream as this. But yeah, to be able to see that many people going nuts for us, like yeah, it's great. It's so you're. Uh, your uh, your album in gold blood has just come out. Um, yeah. It's quite different to the to the others. For anyone who hasn't had the good sense to go out and get their hands on it already, can you can you describe how it sort of deviates from your usual sound? Um, well, you know, it's a lot more rockier and a bit rawer than we usually do. We just wanted to go for more like organic kind of sound for there and just uh, you know just be a proper rock band. So yeah, if you like rock music, pick it up. Yeah, trying trying to save guitar music. <laughs> <laughs> You're on a crusade. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, as a proper rock and roll band, have you been uh, have you been getting up to some proper rock antics backstage as well? Was the was the hangover comment sort of from a, from maybe a personal oh, no. perspective? <laughs> no, it's never us. We're ever the professional, you know. Now, um, stuff happens, but you never like to talk about it. You never like to, you know, divulge too much information. Ah, the classic: what goes on to us stays on to. Wouldn't be fair for the others involved, but. Uh... <laughs> We were actually uh, chatting to the gents from uh, Lost Profits earlier on about uh, about hangover cures as well. Um, you've uh, you've toured quite a bit with them recently, haven't you? Yeah, well, not recently, but like about a year ago, we did loads of dates with them. They've taken us out since we started. They were like the first band to kind of take us on tour and show us the ropes. So, you know, we've been good friends with them for ages. And uh, are they uh, are they good fun to be on tour with? Yeah, they're they're like the best guys ever. I mean, like we grew up. So sort of really admiring them and finding them like such an aspirational band that to have the opportunity to tour with them blew our minds in the first place. So like to get to tour with them and get to know them properly is just amazing. And they're wicked guys and they always give us the best advice. So it's because we're from the same type of place as well. You know, we got that kind of connection of all grown up in the same place. You mm. know, so. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of um, there's a lot of Welsh talent on the bill this weekend. Actually, is the I mean, is the is the music scene in in Wales kind of having a bit of a moment? <laughs> yes, yeah, uh, Cool Cymru part two, I think. Uh, <laughs> no, it's, it's thriving at the moment. It's really good. Like um, loads of bands coming up, and everyone just seems to help each other out. I mean, we all just tour with each other, and like we started out just putting on shows ourselves and playing with our mates' bands, and then like. That seems to have been passed on to the next people, and I know that's how like Lost Profits started doing it as well. So it's kind of been passed on generation to generation of Welsh band, and yeah, we seem to be doing well for ourselves. So it's good. So having uh, having been on the receiving end of some words of advice from Lost Profits, what advice would you give any uh, sort of up and coming bands? Uh, just tour as much as you can, and just enjoy what you're doing because that's all you got to do at the end of the day, and enjoy it. And just see where it goes. I've got some questions for you guys from uh, from your fans on Twitter, who I have to say are, are pretty rabid when it comes down to it. Uh, um, ben Tarrant asks, if you had to pick one of your albums and burn the others, which would you save? Oh, that's easy. Uh, it's got to be the new one, you know? We've we've toured the other one to death now, you know? We can put that away and just stick with the new one. Easy. Yeah, um, yeah the new record in Goldblood is definitely our favourite. So, yeah, go pick it up, because it's class. <laughs> Bit of shameless self-promotion there, but you know. That's Some, what we're here for. Something I learned from Lost Profits. So. <laughs> Anything else to plug? T-shirts, aftershave? Oh, the works, you know. <laughs> Pick up our shirts, our aftershave, our hats, uh, food. Uh, I got a van range coming out too. Mercedes kids in glass houses. <laughs> There you go. Bye, bye, bye. Lovely parting words from our kids in glass houses. 